chequen el canal de Lobby Freedom para que vengan a Hawái. Ok. Hawaii Club. Gracias. This is Michael Love and Freedom. Hey, today we'll be walking over across the border and no, and I, as I was, I was about to tell you guys no Nogales, but no, we're back over here in Agadonis, Baja, California. And today we'll be walking over just to stroll around so you guys can see uh, the procedures of walking into the border. Come on, let's go. Agadones, Baja California, Mexico, and this is the little stroll going in. This is uh, this is walking uh, into Mexico as you cross uh, to Baja uh, California, Mexico. This is uh, Los Agadones, and we are on a stroll today walking. As you can see, going into the border of Mexico. So bring you guys with me, let you see what I see. And right here at this point is where you enter in Mexico. I'm just allowing you guys to see that this is all to it when you're walking into Mexico from Baja California into Los Agadones, Mexico. There was no passport needed to come into Mexico. There was no question asked. I am now currently in Mexico. Simple as that. Just walk out walk across the border huh uh, yeah he told you because you got the phone he don't know because I ain't holding the camera he think I'm just walking with it I just showed you guys the procedure walking into Mexico now you can put it back up I'm on you already cross We're over here in Los Agadones. As you can see, when you first come in, it's kind of late in the evening, and normally it'd be a whole lot of people right here uh, soliciting for the dental office, uh, for the pharmacy, and all that. But we came in right back there, as you can see, I was able to get through to show you guys the walking procedure. Probably never seen before on YouTube. No one has probably ever recorded walking into Mexico, the whole process of walking into uh, Los Agadones or any part of Mexico in that point. So we are over here in Los Agadones. How you doing, sir? Good. And so we are actually here, boots on the ground, walking over here. Uh, it's pretty quiet over here for the most part right now because um, a lot of the snowbirds are probably taking off for 
their uh, holiday. So we're gonna just walk the stroll. We're gonna do a whole block of walking around here. And uh, so you guys can uh, see basically just the little shopping stores that they have over here on the street. Uh, for the most part, it's not a whole lot over here, but it's enough if you wanna come over just to get you some souvenirs, uh, you wanna check out uh, the, the you know the cheap take advantage of the cheap liquor take advantage of the cheap uh, uh, so, well the souvenirs are not that cheap over here and I'm gonna be honest with you the souvenirs are not that cheap over here because for one thing they take advantage of the they take advantage of the snowbirds and that's why it's not that cheap over here that's why you know Nah, that's why they are not uh, as cheap over here, but And for the most part as you can see it's basically all the souvenirs through here. No No, I'm good. Sure? Yeah, and uh, You see they they hustle you they you know they hustle they're trying to get you to buy their stuff So I mean it's pretty typical over here Pretty normal. These are one of like the little bar that you go to, the hole in the wall bar for you guys that be chasing the Moputas. Nasty, stinking, they even smell up in there. You can smell it. Right now, everybody have taken down uh, their little, you know, selling their items on the sidewalk. For the most part, everybody's shut down and gone for the day. And uh, look at the setup. <laughs> one don't get it, the other one will. Uh, so, that's what we got going on. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, and you? Good, good. As you can see, these are some of the stuff they sell, you know, souvenirs, uh, all types of things you can, you know, purchase over here. How you doing? Fine, fine. All in English? Sí. Okay. Quiero hablar con la gente. Dile. ¿Qué horas? Abierto. Quiero cerrar. Dile, dile. ¿Por qué te tienes No. ¿Usted aprendió a hablar español? Ah, no quiere, no quiere hablar con la gente. Habla con la gente en español, por favor. Mejor. Ah, no quiere. Ok, está bien. <laughs> Gracias. Bye. Right. Hola, hola. As you can see, they got a lot of little uh, wood knots, a lot of ponchos for the, uh, a lot of the NFLs, as I was telling you guys before. You know, they, they have a lot of ponchos for different teams, NFL teams. Uh, this is definitely the place you can get all your souvenirs and stuff at over here. Uh, and for the most part, across the street is the famous Hawaii bar. That's the bar where was, this is a strip club for those who was trying to wonder if there was any bars or clubs in Mexico uh, here in Los Acadones. Uh, last time I came over to Grand, they didn't have all like this. So I guess they didn't remodel, so-called remodel it. So this is where you come get your drinks and. I guess this is a strip club right there. I consider a strip club. Uh, over here still, you got a lot of dental office, uh, a lot of uh, optical dental wear, where you can come and get all your dental work done, all your optical eyeglass wear uh, taken care of. As you can see, this guy, he want he wanted me to come over there and uh, film him. Let's, oh, shoot. Let, let's go over here and see what he's talking about. Maybe he'll give me a he'll give me a little uh, interview or something. Let's see what he's talking about. Walk over here. See what's going on with him. What's going on, man? Welcome, buddy. How you doing? The little gente, the little gente, la. Todo que hora es abierto, que hora es cerrado, todo. Dile, órale, órale. Aquí abren a las 10 de la mañana. 
de la mañana. Las eh, 3 de la mañana. Eh, ¿Qué hora será? Hawái. Eh, ¿Qué hora será? A las 3. ¿A las 3 de la mañana? Oh, 3 de la mañana. Oh, ¿Ha okay. to uh, abierto todos los días aquí? Todos los días. Órale, órale. El domingo. La... La mejor chica, mejor show para caballeros aquí en Algodones. Órale. Hawái Night Club. Ok, está bien, está bien. ¿Para las mujeres qué? También, también ahí está aire. ¿Tú bailas la tuba también? Bailale, bailale. Baila security. Uh, security. <laughs> <laughs> está bien, está bien. Y las mujeres, uh, uh, ¿eres uh, México o de otro Colombia, 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 Brasil, 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 Venezuela, 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 Brasil, Venezuela, Brasil, 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 Pretty, pretty dead over here right now. I think also due to the to the holiday, to the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, not many people over here. Probably everybody taking off, uh, head uh, to their family. Take advantage of the getting on the highway early because there's a lot of people that work and live here. They live in the United States and they come across here to work. And I know you're probably saying, why would they come over here to go to work? Because most of these businesses are owned by family. And the family have their houses as well in the United States. And as well as over here. So they making pretty good money over here. Because of the everybody coming from around the world come over here to do their dental and vision work. So the, the money is here. That's one thing I can say. It may not grow. The place don't grow. But the business they do have, they 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 are doing pretty good for themselves. Uh, what is it? He ain't here today. The only guy I did. Remember the guy that said you need something for the for the for the neighbor's wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the neighbor's wife. Yeah. Buy something you don't need. Yeah, buy something you don't need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one too. <laughs> you have any stillers? I uh, guess. Where your stillers stuff at? Holder. Yeah. What's that? How much is that? 15. 15? Okay, I'll be back at it. I'll be back. The famous green door. All oh, you guys were listening at uh, one of the guys on the uh, platform one day talking about the green door. And the green door is over here where we used to come when we were in the Marine Corps to have our drinks. So, this is. See, look at that. That's a his poncho right there. Okay. $28 for the Stillers ponchos. For the ponchos, $28. $28. Come check them out. Come check them out. Come check them out. They got all your necessity, all the key, key holders, keychain holders. Uh, if you're into that wrestling, uh, what is it, what you leaving? Uh -huh. All that kind of stuff. So, come on and check them out. Come on and check them out. We got a lot of, a lot of things over here. Belts, you change, over here. Come on. 
Vamos a ver si vamos a venir. Voy a lo que esfuerzo. ¿Cuál es? ¿Tú qué? ¿Tú qué? No. ¿Abajo del coche? ¿Tú qué? Cell phone holders. ¿Tú qué? Cell phone holders. ¿Tú qué? 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 ¿Tú We got a lot of little souvenirs up in here. A lot of souvenirs. A lot of women stuff. This is basically what Los Agadonas is all about. They sell a lot of souvenirs, a lot of uh, handmade and uh, craft things. You see, there's a Skillers skull. <laughs> a Pittsburgh still a skull. They have a lot of uh, mirror glass things, handmade things. And as I said, to all you evil people with your gears, one more time I'm going to show you, you evil people with your gears, the muerta, you evil people. So, there goes Steelers Clock. You see that Steelers Clock up there? A lot of great things, a lot of great things. Come check them out, come and check them out. I like that painting up there with the, with the music. That's great. You guys come over and check her out. Come on, buy some. She got some great stuff over here, some good stuff. Come buy it, come buy it. Come check her out. A lot of good things. A good thing. There's the hours of some of the. Uh, this is a. What is this? A vision dental. It's a dent dental. That's the hours on the door Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Arizona time. They do all types of dental work. X-ray, root canal, fillings, crown implants, extractions, dental work. Hola, hola. Y'all see the new YouTuber up and coming up in front up there. She says she finna start vlogging. Pretty dead over here for the most part. Look at these glasses on. It's a main lane. Nice. I like that. Can I do something in particular? No, we're just proud of Thank you. As you see, for the most part, we have covered uh, Black Arthur Bonus. We have two, pretty much all the Los Arthur Bonus in the town. So, for you people to see, uh, we're headed back. Pretty much, uh, I know I brought you guys a video over here, Los Agadonas, before, but this was uh, the Los Agadonas second part of Los Agadonas. This was Los Agadonas two, uh, the second part of Los Agadonas. So we're headed back. Uh, it was just a quick walk through to show you guys uh, that. Really, Los Agadonas is still pretty much the same. Uh, nothing really has really changed over here at Los Agadonas. Uh, but I just wanted to bring you guys back over here. I kind of came over here a little late, evening. Everything pretty much closing down. Um, 
My main purpose was to show you guys how simple and how easy it is to walk into Mexico. I've been getting a lot of people, a lot of questions asking me about walking into Mexico. So I wanted to bring you guys over here, show you guys how simple, how easy it was to walk into Mexico. Almost free, compadre. You, know you, know you, you can get them across the border to buy the person, senorita, legally. After that, you pay three dollars tax for each box. So, which are you like? Romeo y Julieta, Coiba, Select, senorita? No, we don't smoke. But you can take them for, for, my, for my subscribers to, to come over and buy from you. Okay, so, so you want to go ahead and tell them? Yeah, that's right. You, you're, welcome. you're welcome to come to Mexico anytime, guys. Uh, yeah, it's, it's cool in this town, all right? I don't want to wait it right here. Peace. Are you, you Raiders? Oh, yeah. This still is out here. All right. <laughs> all right. Look at all those type of medicine you can get to buy. Go across the border with. As you can see, this guy right here, he was out trying to hustle. And this is typically normal here in this area. Normally, you see more people out, but it was kind of late. But you can expect this when you come over to Akadona. People out on the streets trying to get to different establishments. As you can see, that's the line. If you're driving across, you're gonna get in the line to drive, uh, to go back across the border. But if you're walking, you're gonna cross over there where those two officers stand. But we're gonna go down here and cross. Uh, but the crosswalk is right here where you cross. And we're gonna just walk across. If there was a line, that would be the line to come all the way across. So when you come across, this is where you go, you walk, and we're gonna come up on the entranceway where you go to the top, excuse me, and you when you so your line start right here from your feet walking, and when you get up here to the checkpoint, this is where immigration starts. You walk across, go across the border, basically as simple as that. Uh, yeah, you must show your documents today. As you can see, they request you to show your documents when you cross the border. And uh, this is where your checkpoints begin going to the United States. So, uh, basically, okay, once you come through those doors and then you proceed on through the passageway, 
This is to the United States. Once you pass immigration checkpoint, get cleared, then you proceed on back across the border to uh, get in your vehicle and head out. Simple as that. Pretty simple. They have uh, restrooms over here. You know, if you got to use the restroom before you get back in your vehicle, you have a long drive ahead of you. But just keep in mind, you can also stop at the casino uh, going across. So, just wanted to bring you guys over here once again. Uh, let's see, for the most part, what it is like crossing the border at Las Agadonas, Baja California, Mexico. Things change uh, just a slight bit from the last time I walked across here. And the last time I walked across here, there are many, 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 many years. So, I just wanted to, as you can see, there's the border wall right there. Immigration vehicles at the border wall right there. When you come across, walking back into the United States. Border wall, the river is right there. That's basically the river where they catch people swimming, the high grass right there, swimming in the river trying to cross the border. But that's it. That's all to it. Walking across the border in Mexico. I showed you guys a procedure of walking into Mexico. Probably you would never get a footage like that. Never get a footage like that. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get you guys footage coming into the United States, which they don't allow it, but I did get you most of the footage of coming on the other side of the door of immigration from Mexico. So, we're back where we started, square one, back over here in the United States. This little area right here is where Directly adjacent over here is where they you can come to the United States from the United States You do a turnaround right there if you don't want to go into Mexico or you can drop them off right here Over the turn. These are the cars crossing the street Coming across from Mexico This is the crossing Walk back into Mexico. So pretty much That's it right there. That's all you, That's all it is to it. You come out right there uh, back into Mexico the same way we came in or the same way we go back to the parking lot over here to your vehicle this is the parking lot for your vehicle so that is the border United States immigration simple as that that's it I appreciate you guys watching as always until the next one bye now peace one love